What is up you guys, it is your boy The King coming to you yet again with another how-to video. In my previous videos, I showed you how to get the Ruin Hero outfit, the body, and the head. I will leave that in the link in the details below. And I also have a video on how to get your knife gold, how to bypass the glitch, and that will be in the link in the description below. And also, I have a video on how to get headshots in order to get your knife's gold, to get any of your gun's gold, your knife gold, any gun's gold, uh i showed you how to get headshots i'm telling you look at the dark matter camel i know what i'm talking about and that will be in the link in the descriptions below please check out those other videos show some sh show some shisha show some support i can't talk right now show some support and you know like subscribe thank you for the support anybody who's has supported me and so far and so if you're here right now you're here for the seraph you're here wondering how to get the body and head uh i'll show you how to do that I'll show you how to get the body and head and for me like I said before um, in the ruin video I said hard point was the best way to go here this time for the rest of them I will say the best way to go free for all free for all for me is is my favorite game type I play a lot of free for all because I'm a lone wolf uh, I know I see a lot of one versus seven and you know, yeah I see that a lot but to me uh, I like being a lone wolf not saying that I don't like playing team-based matches I love playing team-based matches to me. It doesn't matter uh, But sometimes it puts me in a in in like these crappy ass teams and I hate playing with people that are not playing uh, With me or you know, and, and I have to be the one to get most of the kills and it gets frustrating So to me for 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 the rest of these how-to videos free-for-all is gonna be your best bet to go with um, I'm gonna show you a couple ways on how I did it. I have a motto that I abide by uh, when it comes to all my, you know, weapons, specialist weapons. Uh, my motto is make sure your first shot is a sure shot. And I know it sounds weird, but a lot of people like getting their specialist and like, you know, using it all willy nilly, you know, real quick. Uh, specialist, take their specialist weapon out and use it. No, what I do is. If I have my specialist weapon, I make sure the first shot is a sure shot, sure shot, because if you kill that first person, it allows you time to get to the next person and get to the next person and get to the next person. Let me show you in these clips right here. No second chances. And this clip right here. No second chances. So if you want to get these, uh, um, string these kills going together, um, and able to get four kills uh, in one goal round with the annihilator, uh, tell I'm gonna tell you that. Uh, the way to go is to make sure that your first shot is a sure shot. Make sure that you got that first shot really good lined up. Uh, and I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to sound weird, but sound whoring is going to be the way to go. If you have headphones, uh, if you have really good headphones, and if you turn on super crunch, uh, and if you have this awareness and dead silence, they're going to be your best friend. But we're going to go through my creative class for the Seraph on how I use it um, I use the VMP which is a monster SMG like it is to me the best SMG in the game a lot of people say it's the Vesper but no nah, the VMP to me is the is the monster I use rapid fire uh, and then I use grip because it has a lot of kickback um, again I run the black cell because I don't run ghost I run overclock you want to get that specialist weapon faster you want it to mean more Again, I use the C4 just to chug that shit and, you know, throw it whenever and wherever. I just throw it. Fuck it. If I get, a, if I get you know, kill feeds, I get kill feeds. Uh, it's not really that different from the ruins, but a little bit. Uh, again, I run overclock. Overclock is going to let you get your specialist faster, quicker. I think you get it in five to six kills uh, in a free-for-all. Um, if you get it in five to six kills, which is good, uh, that means you'll be able to get it about three times during the course of the game. Um, you want to stay ahead of the game, you know what I mean? But you get it about three times during the game. So if you miss a couple shots, that's fine. You get extra chances throughout, you know, your chance to get it. 
uh, I run scavenger again. I don't like picking up other people's weapons. You can, but let's say, you know, you're in a situation that you want to string kills and you run out of bullets. Well, you're going to have to pick up somebody else's weapon. And if you're not running fast hands, if you pick up somebody else's weapon, it ain't going to work out well for you. You know what I mean? You're going to get killed real quick. So scavenger I use, it helps a lot. It helps me to keep my weapon. It helps me to keep stringing those kills together. Um, awareness and dead silence. I cannot stress out enough that these two are by far for me the best perks in the game. I cannot play a game without these. I cannot play a game hearing my own footsteps and hearing other people's footsteps, knowing where they're coming from, knowing where, where to shoot the annihilator from. What I do is when I make sure the first shot is a sure shot, I stand back a little bit, wait to see if I hear from somebody coming pre-aim, you know what I mean, and try to see where that person is going to come from and kill that person trust me when i tell you that it sounds bad that sound whoring sounds bad but to me it's going to be your best friend especially if you want to get these six kills in the game uh you're going to run a run that you know what i mean you're going to want it to be trust me it's going to be your best friend um to get the seraph uh to get the annihilator the six kills in the game uh when you run combat focus uh how i run combat focus in the game is I run very very low kill streaks very low kill streaks I run the HCXD the UAV and the counter UAV uh, the reason being is because whenever you use your um, combat focus uh, what I do is I'm gonna show you a clip right here I get three kills and then I press the combat focus and then I string together two more kills which will get me all my uh, score streaks in the game and that'll be three score streaks right there real quick super fast uh, check out this clip Threat neutralized And that's how you do it that's how you get it that's how you uh run the combat focus and that gets real quick if you're running overclock i run the same kind of creative class for the over for the uh combat focus i run overclock i run scavenger i run dead silence and i run awareness trust me it's gonna work it's gonna be your best friend uh make sure you get three kills string three kills together then use your combat focus you don't have to uh, you can, you know, try to, you know, use your combat focus early, but I do it in order for me to, to, to be able to get those real quick. Again, you'll be able to get your combat focus about three times during your free for all. So while you're playing with the Sarah front free for all, trust me, it'll work. It worked for me. Um, this is how good, uh, this is how good they look, the body, the hero body and the hero head, how good it looks. You know what I mean? Trust me when I tell you that this is the way I got him hero. Uh, I got her hero in, I want to say half a day, probably. You know what I mean? But anyways, guys, if you like this video, if it was helpful, please leave a like. Leave a comment in, uh, down below. Tell me what you want to see next. Uh, I really appreciate you guys sliding through and, and showing some support. Um, until next time, homies, I really appreciate it. Peace out.